All right, guys, welcome to Kitchen Daddy. Now, even over here in California, whoa, the temperature's dropped, so we're gonna make a lovely heartwarming broccoli and Stilton soup. Guys, if you've never had this before, it is a flavor pairing made in heaven. It's absolutely gorgeous, and we're gonna knock it out in about 15 minutes. So come on, let's get into it. Right, to kick things off, let's grab a large stock pot and get that on a medium high heat. Now guys, we're gonna make quite a big batch of this. That way you've got some in the fridge all week, so you can just tap into that when you get home from work, or you can sling it in the freezer and defrost it whenever it gets cold again. So anyway, we need two large onions. We're gonna peel them and finely slice them. Okay, the pan's nice and hot, so let's add a good knob of butter. Once that starts foaming, we're gonna get all those onions in. We wanna move them around and we're gonna cook those for about five minutes. Okay, whilst they're cooking, we're gonna finely slice three sticks of celery. Now let's get them in with the onions, move them around. We're also gonna add a pinch of salt at this point, but not too much. We gotta be a little bit careful because we're gonna add some chicken stock in there and we're also gonna add the Stilton, which is quite salty. So at this point, let's be really gentle with the amount of salt we put in there. Now guys, we wanna cook this for about another five minutes or so. I want them to be translucent. I don't want any color on them. If we get color on them, then the soup's gonna be brown instead of green. Now for the broccoli, let's chop the florets off. We're gonna pop them aside and we'll use them in a minute. But we do wanna get the stalk in the soup as well. So let's run our knife around the outside to peel it. If the end's a little bit woody, let's lob that off. And then we wanna finely slice it up. Now let's get that in with the onions and the celery. We're gonna move that around a little bit. And again, we're gonna cook that for about another two or three minutes. Okay, that looks great. So we're gonna pour over about a liter and a half, so about three pints of chicken stock. Now pop that on a high heat and we're gonna bring that up to the boil. So whilst we're waiting for that, let's chop all those broccoli florets into roughly the same size. That way, they're all gonna cook at the same time, so you haven't got some which are overcooked, some which are just undercooked. Right, that's come up to the boil, so let's get all the florets in there. We wanna push down on them, make sure they're completely submerged, and we're gonna bring that back up to the boil and cook that for about five minutes until all those stalks are nice and soft. That looks great, so let's grab the hand blender and we can start blitzing this into a soup. Okay, that looks great, so we're gonna start adding in the Stilton. Now the trick is here, you wanna add it in a little bit by little bit, give it a blitz and have a taste of it because the thing is with Stilton, you know, it's quite a strong cheese anyway and depending on how old it is, depends on how bold the flavor uh, is going to be. So you just wanna add a little bit at a time, give it a taste until you're happy with the Stilton flavor in the soup. I'm also gonna add a good splash of milk. You could add double cream if you wanted to, but come on guys, it's still healthy January, isn't it? So we're gonna use double, we're gonna use whole milk, not double cream for this. Now, I've actually added in probably about 200 grams of Stilton here. I'm really happy with it, but it really does need quite a lot more seasoning. Let's add a good pinch of salt, some black pepper, and we're ready to plate up. Here we go, guys. Oh, it smells absolutely amazing. Oh, that is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. You know, you get that Stilton flavor coming through. It's still kind of like creamy and wonderful. You still get that lovely kind of sweetness from the onions. And obviously that beautiful broccoli flavor. Guys, that is a knockout. Dead easy to do. Give us a thumbs up. Get in the comments below, tell me what you think of it. Thank you so much for all your support. I've got bloody broccoli all over my mouth. Um, give us a thumbs up, get in the comments below, give us some banter, and I will see you next week for another amazing video. Thanks very much for watching, bye bye.